Hi everybody. Fly tying can get expensive, but not if you like crisps. I made this buzzer out of a crisp packet, except for the black thread. Everything else is from a crisp packet. Thing is, crisp packets, different colours. You've got blue, red, there's green, orange, and with inside the crisp packet itself, or on the outer edge, there's also another variety of colours. Yellows, whites, oranges. You can manipulate it to make all types of buzzers. And before anyone says anything, I've used them and they work and a video is coming very shortly. All you need is a good straight edge and a sharp craft knife to make the two mil thick strips. Again, they only need to be about four or five inches long. And I've made them on size 12s, 14s and 10s. So with a little imagination and a few crisp packets, this is how I made them. So with uh, your black thread, it could be any thread if you wish, because once the crisp bag is on top of it, you're not going to see it. But if you're going to use the black thread for the head or red, then yes, that's the only place it's going to be visible. It doesn't have to be touch and turn. Then attach your crisp packet material. I've done them in white. I've done the body yellow. I've done it blue. Whatever you wish. Use your imagination. In some cases, you could just use a white body and a red head or a black head. Put a bit of UV on it and there's your buzzer. I've done in white and yellow, as I've said, with a yellow colour, silver colour, green colour. Left it in a black thread at the end or put a peacock feather in to give it a fluffy head. It's cheap as chips. If you mess up, just get a scalpel out, run it down the whole body, take it all apart, start again. I've actually done a really nice size 12 blue buzzer using the blue strips or making blue strips out of a uh, well-known Gary Lineker make of cheese and onion crisps. Should I say I put some UV resin on it and it's absolutely fantastic. Love it. And that works as well. And at the end of the video, there's actually an image of it. As I keep saying, there's no set blueprint for this. Tie them up as you want. If you were to buy the tinsel, which I was looking at the other day, it's about £3.50 for like for a blue or a red or a white. And by the time you've got yourself five or six, it's like 20 quid's worth of material. And unless you're a professional fly tyre, you're not going to use it all. Whereas, get yourself a couple of bags of crisps, because they're always at our house. And crisps are the best because it's quite a strong material. It's not going to break once you start cutting it into small strips. Them tinsels... You're probably going to use them eight or nine times and then they're just going to sit in the bottom of your fly box. Where this stuff, you're chucking it in the bin anyway. It's free stuff. The only thing with this, I don't put any varnish on them. I put a very small amount of UV resin, seal it, let it completely dry and then put your varnish on top. Again, make your heads whatever you wish. This is trial and error. I'd seen a pattern on the internet. I went off that one and then adapted it, but they fish very well, really well. I build the head up with a small amount of resin, and then using a pin, I just rub it down the ribs, just make sure it's got a full coating, hit it with a light, and then once it's dry, so that's it. Crisp packets, craft knife, straight edge, hooks, any coloured thread that you want, cheap way to make buzzers, very colourful buzzers, attractive buzzers, because the trout love them. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Stick around to the end and you'll see the nice blue buzzer I made. And I'm going to have to make more of them. And I won't give you too much away for the video I've made. Speak to you later. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. Comment about this if you wish. I'd like your feedback, but I am really impressed with this stuff. Catch you all later.